Hello and welcome to my next video. My name is Nancy from Desert Haven in Lancaster, California. I teach vocational skills to adults and help them find jobs out in the community. Today I want to talk about um, saying I don't know in an interview and how you should avoid it and how you can make it sound positive even if it's the real answer to the question is that you don't know the answer. So I'm going to tell you how to handle that in a job interview. It's okay if you do not know the answer to the question. If someone asks you about something that you've never done before or a question that you simply don't know the answer to, it's important to be honest, but you still have to say something. You want it to be a full answer of a couple sentences, at least one full sentence. Even if you don't have the experience in that exact thing, you can still give a good answer about talking about the skills that you do have, things that you've learned, and how you can adjust to new situations. Here's some tips for answering a question like that. If you're asked about an experience that you have not had, it's important to be honest about that, but you also want to show enthusiasm about learning more about it, or as we're going to talk about in the next few minutes, maybe a different situation, but it's important that you give an honest and full and positive answer about your skills and experiences. One of the things you can do in this situation is ask for more information. If you don't understand the question and you're tempted, just say, I don't know. Maybe you do know, and maybe you just need a time to think about it. Politely ask the interviewer to explain the question again or rephrase the question. This shows that you want to give a good answer, but you need a little help understanding the question. That's one thing you can do. You don't have to do all these things I'm gonna talk about, but that's one idea. You can share what you do know. Maybe you know a little bit about the topic that they're talking about. Maybe you have a little bit of experience in it, but not a lot, that's okay. Of course you don't know everything. Try to talk about what you do know. It shows that you have some knowledge and can contribute to the conversation and that you have some of the skills necessary for the job that you're applying for. The next idea is not my favorite. It says make an educated guess. That means that you think you know the answer and you can talk to them about it. You can ask them, is this what you're talking about? Blah, blah, blah. And it's okay to do so if you can guess the answer based on what you think is right. Tell the interviewer that you're not sure, not that you don't know, but you're not sure. But I think that you might be talking about this or that make sure you explain why you're coming up with this idea um, it's potentially difficult and you don't want to just say I'm just gonna take a guess here but if you think you know what he's talking about it's okay to ask just to clarify what it is that the interviewer is asking you that's all right if you don't know the exact answer maybe you have an answer that's similar or like what you think the answer should be. If you cannot answer the question directly, try to connect it with something similar that you do know. This shows that you can make connections between different ideas and experiences. Like, I've done this, is that similar? You can ask questions, or if you think that that's similar, go ahead and use that as an example. This one's probably my favorite suggestion when you think you don't know the answer to a question show your eagerness to learn the answer. Let the interviewer know that you're excited about learning new things. You can say, I haven't done that before, but I'm excited to learn. It's really very important that you show excitement in the job interview. The interviewer wants to hire people that really want to be there. They care about the business and they want to join the team. So even if you haven't done those things before and you don't have the skills that they're looking for, you must tell them that you're excited to learn about those skills, and learn more and do more. Here are a few examples of answers you can give when you do not have the experience. If someone asks you about your experience working in a store, but you've never actually worked in a retail store, you can respond like this. I have not worked in a store before, but I have the skills that could be helpful. 
I'm good at talking to people, I'm very friendly, I enjoy helping others and solving problems. Even though I haven't worked in a store, I'm super excited about the opportunity to learn more. In a store situation, you can also talk about how much you like this store that you're applying for and how you like shopping there and you like the atmosphere and that you're really excited to learn more about the world of retail. If someone asks you about your experience working in an automotive repair shop, but you've never actually worked in an automotive repair shop, you can respond like this. Although I've never had direct experience, I'm mechanically inclined and enjoy working with tools. These things are very important. Um, I'll read this all again, but it's important that they know that you've worked with some tools at home or in a training program in school so that you have some idea about what it's like to take things apart and put it back together. So let me start again. <clears throat> Although I haven't had direct experience, I am mechanically inclined and I enjoy working with tools. I may need some training and guidance to learn specific tasks. I'm a quick learner and I'm willing to put in the effort to learn the skills. I'm excited about the opportunity to work in an auto repair shop. Here's a similar answer in a warehouse environment. If someone asks you about your experience working in a warehouse but you've never actually worked in a warehouse, you can respond something like this. I have not worked in a warehouse before, but I have the skills that will be useful there. I am strong, I can lift heavy things, I'm also good at organizing and paying attention to details. While I may need training, I'm a quick learner and willing to work hard. I'm excited about the chance to be a part of this warehouse team and help out. If you have to say I don't know, you really can't think of anything else to say, don't let that be the only thing you say. Make sure you follow it up with, I'm excited to learn, or could you ask me that again? Or I will do some research and get back to you. But mostly you wanna be excited to learn. Um, the answer, it's okay to say, I don't know, but I'm excited to learn. Or I've never done that, but I'm excited to learn. It's simple, it's effective, it shows your enthusiasm, shows that you're willing to do the training that it's gonna take. I look forward to knowing how to do all of these jobs here. You wanna make sure that you finish positive, positive response, a full response of longer sentence than just I don't know. Very important. If you have to say I don't know, follow that up with I'm excited to learn. I don't know, but I'm really excited to learn. so much for watching and I'll see you in the next